Hey everybody, let's take a look at a quick review of inequalities before it's time to take the quiz at the end of this section. So I have a few problems for us to look at here. The first one would be 8n is greater than 32, and this time they've given us some choices. Choices are 3, 4, 5, and 6. Let's test each one of these to see if they actually work in this inequality. And the way we can do that is by what's called substitution. So let's try by putting 3 right here. So this becomes 8 times 3. Well, 8 times 3 is 24. 24 is not greater than 32, so we know 3 doesn't work. Let's try putting 4 in the inequality. 8 times 4, uh-oh, is equal to 32. Well, 32 is not greater than 32. That's what we're trying to say up here, is greater than. So since 32 is not greater than 32, 4 doesn't work. Well, it looks like 5 probably will. So let's substitute 5 right here. 8 times 5 is 40, and 40 is greater than 32. Our last one to test is 6. 8 times 6 is, of course, 48 and 48 is greater than 32. Okay, let's look at another sample right here. Now we have 2k squared is greater than 32. Well, one thing we have to remember before we even start with this inequality is that order of operations. If you remember that, that matters. And order of operations is that P, E, M, D, A, S thing. And this one happens to have an exponent in it. That's this guy right there. So with that exponent in there, we have to look at it first. So let's try testing some of our options right here under the choices. First thing we would try is to put in the 3. So that tells us 2 times 3 squared is greater than 32. Well, let's see if that's true. This becomes a 9. So 2 times 9 is that greater than 32. 2 times 9 is 18. And 18 is not greater than 32. So we know that 3 can be ruled out as an option because it doesn't work. Let's try 4. This would be 2 times 4 squared. Is that greater than 32? Well, 4 squared is 16. So 2 times 16, oh no, that equals 32. But we need it to be greater than 32. So 4 doesn't work. I think you've probably guessed that 5 might. Let's try it. 2 times 5 squared is that greater than 32. Well, this would be 2 times 5 squared, and 5 squared is 25. So that's 50, and is 50 greater than 32? It is. So 5 definitely works. Let's try 6 just to make sure. If we look at 6 over here, we would have... 6 squared, we want to multiply that by 2, 2 times 6 squared, well let's see, that's 36, so 2 times 36 is 72, and 72 is definitely greater than 32, so 6 does work as a possible solution, so those would be our choices. Now let's try one with a little bit more in it. Once again, we have our choices over here, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Let's see what happens. When we do 3 in place of m, we get 4 times 3 minus 14.4, and we want to see if that is going to be less than or equal to 5.6. Well, 4 times 3 is only 12, and 12 minus 14.4, is that actually going to be less than 5.6? Well, if I check my math, 12 minus 14.4 turns out to be negative 2.2 is negative 2.2 I don't want to do a decimal less than or equal to 5.6 and the answer to that is yes so on this problem we have to say that 3 is a solution let's take a look at 4 and see if 4 also works it might but let's test it out the way we do that is 4 times 4, that's 4 times m, minus 14.4. Is that less than or equal to 5.6? Well, 
Well, if we do our test, 4 times 4 is 16. And 16 minus 4.4, 4, 16 minus 4.4 4 turns out to be 11.6. Oops, got my stuff in the wrong spot there. 16 minus 4.4 4 turns out to be just 1.6. And is 1.6 less than or equal to 5.6? Well, it is. So 4 is a solution. Let's take a look at one more problem just to see what happens. What if we put 5 in here? So we would have 4 times 5 minus 14.4 .4 less than or equal to 5.6. Well, four, 4 times 5 is 20. So 20 minus 14.4 turns out to be equal to 5.6. Well, that gives us a question. Is 5.6 less than or equal to 5.6? And we t it turns out that because it's or equal to right there, it works. And I think you can guess that if we try 6 in this inequality, 6 is not going to work. So what we do there is just say no on that one, and we know that 3, 4, and 5 are possible solutions. Okay, let's take a look at this one. In this question, is x equals 5 a solution to this inequality? So what we have is 25x is greater than 125. So we take our 5 right here, and we plug it in with substitution, which makes us have 25 times 5 is greater than 125. Well, last time I checked, 25 times 5 is 125. So here's your question. Is 125 greater than 125? And it's not. So our answer on this one is no, x minus 5 is not a solution. This one doesn't work in this inequality, so we'll say no. Okay, on our last one, Jim's soccer team held a car wash to raise money for a tournament. They charged $8 per car. The team raised more than $488. How many cars did Jim's team wash? Well, on this problem, what we want to look at is, first of all, setting up our inequality. So we would say they had $8 for each car, and $8 for each car is 8 times the number of cars, 8C, and they raised more than $488. So that would be greater than... 488. Well, I'm not really sure what number that is, so I guess what we need to do is solve in the usual way. We divide on each side by 8, which gives us C is greater than 488 divided by 8. Now we could do a little side problem if we're not sure of the answer, and we would say, let's see, 6 here, we get a 48 there, 0, we bring down our 8 right here, 8 divided by 8 is 1. So we now know that C is greater than 61. Now, if we're called on to graph this, we would do our usual step. We'd place 61 here. We'd have a couple of numbers to the right of 61, a couple of numbers to the left of 61, and then we'd be able to put an open circle on 61 because 61, you see, is not a solution here, but they did more than 61 cars. Okay, that covers kind of all the examples we need for this quiz. As you're working on it, take your time. Remember, you need to answer each question the best you can. All right, good luck and have a great day.